week's video. So for this week's video, I thought I would do a overall high school advice video for you guys. So this is going to be some overall advice as well as specific advice for freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. If you guys don't know, I did just graduate, so I feel like I have fresh knowledge of some information that you guys may need to know. So yeah, anyways, um, if you want to keep up with me and my daily life, activities, things I do like that, I will have my social medias right here for you guys. And yeah, anyways, let's get on into the video. Okay, so for my freshmen, um, these are some little tips and tricks and things like that. Um, so work on finding yourself and your style. Um, it's okay to change it up and go through phases. Um, don't feel like you are forced to do anything, to copy anybody, um, to copy any of the trends. Um, and you know, just kind of be you, set your own style, set your own trend, your own vibe. Trust me, I went from jeans and t-shirts um, my freshman year and not really knowing what I was, how to dress, anything like that, to going into my senior year as wearing skirts and dresses and like rompers and heels to school and like my boots and everyone was like, dang, like it was a change. Don't be afraid to try new styles, so yeah. Don't be afraid to go to school events, parties, hangouts, but be careful. Um, this kind of goes along with also following your morals. Yes, go have fun, go hang out, go enjoy all these social things, but please be careful with who you hang out with, who you talk to. Um, your friends sometimes may not be your friends at events and social gatherings with other people. You kind of have to, you know, kind of step aside and evaluate things sometimes be like is this you know good and healthy for me so I mean it's your prerogative if you want to go party like go party go do you girl but like at the same time you want to keep your morals and your values and make sure you don't do anything stupid that you may end up regretting later um if you do end up drinking take an uber don't get in a friend's car especially if they were drinking um I know a lot of high school high schoolers like to go to parties and drink. Like, you know, just kind of watch out. Um, don't go to huge, huge, huge parties that you know are going to get crashed by the cops. You will get in serious trouble. Um, it's honestly not worth it. If it if people say it's an open, don't really go to them. Um just because they most likely will be busted by the cops um you're gonna be trying to jump into random people's cars to like get away and it's just not fun so don't do it <laughs> um feel like don't feel like you have to be peer pressured um even for me my with throughout high school um i went through phases of feeling peer pressured don't feel peer pressured at all um if you don't want to do something just say no like don't feel like you have to fit in. I know I did some stuff that was peer pressure related and I look back on it now and I was like that was stupid and dumb of me and I wish I never did that to myself. So kind of, you know, don't do that. So yeah, um, grades do matter starting your freshman year so don't slack off. So for colleges, they look from your freshman year all the way up to halfway through your senior year pretty much so don't slack as much as you may not want to do a homework assignment because you think it's stupid you want to do it you want to try to get the best grade possible um especially if you really are looking to go to a good college um the better you start off your freshman year you start making really good habits so then um it'll go on to your upper classman years and it'll become really beneficial um, especially when senioritis starts hitting your junior year. <laughs> so, um, just try to keep, you know, strong habits and try to work on having good grades throughout your freshman year because 
colleges do look at that um I had like a 3.5 um sometimes I wish I pushed myself a little bit harder but um you obviously don't want to over push yourself you want to find an even boundary of you know spending time doing homework but as well as having the social aspect of high school um start to join clubs sports and organizations these are really good they look good on your college resume as well as work resumes um internship resumes things like that um as well as you can make a lot of new friends you can start to branch out and not feel like you're so like centered in like a bubble of who you were friends with in eighth grade um i personally did color guard my freshman year and granted it wasn't the best overall experience for me um it did help me because i am now more sociable and i grew friends um through the band department and my color guard friends and meeting their friends and it just helped me branch out to a lot more people and made me not so nervous freshman year as well as um my campus had two campuses we had just a freshman campus and then we had a main campus where all the 10th, 11th, and 12th graders are. And then if you were a freshman and you had a class on the main campus, you took a bus over there. Um, and I didn't know literally about the main campus. I was so lost. Um, and my first day of school, actually one of my color guard friends, she you know, told me to text her when I was getting there and she met me. Um, at the spot and then she was showed me where my classes were because she didn't have any classes after that um so I like I knew where my color guard where I have to be where I had to be for that but then I didn't know how to get to my next class so after color guard we walked over there and she showed me because she didn't have another class to go to so she just helped me out so making friends that can do that is really helpful so you know you don't get lost <laughs> Stay out of drama your freshman year. Don't get into fights, don't get a referral, don't do any of that because colleges see that. Um, and it's honestly just not worth it to get into drama. Um, you don't want to start your year off, you know, having a drama filled year. It's just not fun, it's honestly. It adds so much more stress and anxiety that you don't need. Stay organized starting your freshman year and it will help throughout high school um, so find something that works for you if you like to take notes a certain way you like to write in your planner a certain way and have um, things color-coded for example um, start finding that out your freshman year so then you're not finding that out halfway through your junior year and then it just becomes a chaotic mess um and you're up till 4 a.m so i would say start finding that out earlier the earlier the better work on growing a tough skin because people will talk in high school and you kind of just have to get used to it um there's no way around it everyone's just gonna talk just so people can look at them and people you know you don't want that um so try to the to grow that tough skin so you can kind of handle it and not let it bother you um i know it's hard i had really um bad i had a really bad time throughout my freshman year where i really didn't have a tough skin um and it kind of made me look like a crybaby so you kind of don't want that look um so i would recommend growing a tough skin because people are going to talk people are going to be people um and you just got to learn to ignore it be kind and don't go around spreading drama you don't want to be known as the person that spreads drama so don't spread drama so just be kind to people you know say hi to people if you want to make friends don't be afraid to make friends just as long as you're kind and a lot of people don't like drama so as long as you're not really involved in drama um people will want to be your friend and you're not gonna have a label on you um and no one's gonna have a backstory to say about like oh she did this or oh she said that about so and so or you know he got into a fight or anything like that like you don't want that label so if you don't want that label then just kind of be kind with everyone don't spread rumors just kind of listen and be like yeah okay and that's about it um you want to be focused your freshman year because there are skills that you will use in other grades so don't fall asleep in class, don't slack off, don't be chucking pencils and glue sticks and um, falling asleep during your study hall period. If you have one, 
you know, try to stay focused. You should study all the time as well to study. Um, because you will need those fundamental skills for later on when you take your higher level courses. And then you don't want to look dumb. <laughs> so that's happened to me before, so. So for my sophomores, um, do your best that you can and try not to let your GPA and test grades define you. Um, this was the biggest thing for me my sophomore year and it was actually the hardest thing to get over and to handle. Um, I used to focus so much on having the best GPA and oh my god my test scores like people would talk about their test scores and I wouldn't ever want to share mine. Um, and your test score shouldn't define who you are, your strengths, your weaknesses, um, your personality, nothing like that. Um, I'm personally just a bad test taker and I didn't do so hot on all my tests and that's okay but that didn't mean that I wasn't smart. I was smart. I had A's and B's in all my classes pretty much and I would just have a low test score and that's totally okay and don't let that determine who you are. You just kind of carry yourself like you know what you're doing, you know what you're talking about and you're good. Um, take your PSA ser PSATs seriously. Um, this will help you for your real SATs. Um, it will literally help you guide your way through your SATs. You can use your PSATs to help you study um, and things like that. Um, it's honestly like a chill year, your senior year, but you just want to like stay focused. Don't like get off the grind of like not focusing. Um, like I said, because there's fundamental skills that you will need in there for your upcoming years. For all my juniors, um, junior year, yeah, it's the worst year, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, stayed up till 4am, was constantly doing homework, was busy, um, tests, exams, things like that, you have so many exams and tests that you have to worry about and project based things and it's a lot of work, um, but don't get discouraged, um, I always kind of thought I was like, it's worth it, like I'm going to get into a good college after this. Like I kept preparing myself and telling myself it was going to be okay and it ended up being okay. So yeah. Um, start looking at colleges your junior year. This is really helpful um, just so you can kind of get an idea of what you want to do, um, where you want to go, if you want to take any pre like classes some schools offer, some stuff where you can go in during the summer and kind of do like mini workshops for the week, spend a week there. Um, I know I did one at University of Cincinnati um, for my program, so look at your program, kind of see, um, just look at things like that, what your score requires, um, making sure that, you're, that you can get that right SAT score or um, you know, ACT score or like making sure you basically meet your levels that you need to meet. Um, so yeah, um, try taking one to two AP classes your junior year. Um, if you don't want to take any, you don't have to, you're not forced to take any, um, but they do look really good for colleges and colleges really do look at your junior year as well. Um, so try to just be able to, you know, get into how feeling what AP is like. Um, basically AP is a college level class. Um, so you can kind of start to get a feel for, you know, what you may be doing. You can always use these classes as well to, you know, kind of like step your toes in the water a bit on a certain topic that you may want to be doing in college. So this will be really helpful. Um, and as well as if you do get a three or above, I know you can use them for a college replacement, like, uh, like it'll count as a course. Um, some schools do it require a four or above for that. Um, it just does depend. You do have to look at the school um, that you want to go to. Um, so yeah. Um, focus on your homework, tests, and grades. Like I said, they'll be really good for colleges and you'll need that. Um, take good notes in class and work and 
take good notes in class but as well as notes that work well for you you don't want to go home and be rewriting your notes because it's not fun don't go home and spend four hours rewriting your notes i've done that before and it is honestly not worth it um so i would say from the get-go just start writing your notes out really well figure out your system and your plan on how you're going to write your notes um and yeah don't worry about doing don't worry about going don't worry about going to dances alone i know um junior and senior year for my school is when we did prom and then we had homecoming for all four years um but don't worry about going to dances alone it's totally okay um or going with a group of friends it's honestly not that bad um i went to my senior prom alone and i still had a blast so you don't have to feel like you're stuck with a group. That's the one thing I like when you go out alone. You can go talk to as many friends as you want and not have to feel like you're, you know, attacked. But you won't have to feel like you're stuck to a certain group of friends. So it just lets you, you know, go hang out with a bunch of people. So that's the one thing I like about going to dances, like, by yourself. Um anxiety will kick in but learning how to control it will help um if you have to go on medication like i personally had to do um or finding exercises to kind of calm your nerves um will be really beneficial start learning it beforehand just in case if you get an anxiety or panic attack like i did i really didn't know i had major anxiety um really until my high school years um and it really was really really bad my junior year um that would be i want to say one of my worst years that it was um but it really started in the beginning of high school but definitely just work on exercises um junior year it pretty much does kick in just because of your workload and you're just stressed about trying to find an even balance of hanging out with friends and you know if there's drama going on you're dealing with that and just all these different social things and if you're getting a job maybe you have that on top of it so i would say find a way to you know help control your anxiety so do all my seniors welcome um make sure your class schedule has all of the classes required for every school you want to go to along with what you need to graduate so for example i really wanted to go to university of cincinnati that was my top top school um and i had to have physics and i had to have pre-calc so i put those two classes on my schedule and then all of my other schools didn't require any specific classes um so basically you just check to see what your classes require what your school require what the school requires that you want to go to um what they require for your high school transcripts and like what they want coming out of high school um make sure you have all of that done um and on your senior schedule and then anything else that you may need to graduate um take extra classes if needed um for your top school which is what i was explaining earlier um that's basically how you do that um senioritis kicks in um once you start getting your acceptance letters um i know i talked to a bunch of my friends and once we got accepted and we knew what school we were going to senioritis kicks in um and don't let it get to you um because a lot of the schools do look at your final transcripts as well to determine that you can fully go to the school. So you got to make sure that you're still on your A game. So if your ACT scores or SAT scores aren't the best, try looking at schools that um, don't require a test. A lot of schools are actually doing this um, where you can apply and they won't look at your test scores um, as like a determining factor. That's personally the school that I'm going to. They didn't do that. Um, you have the option to submit your test scores or not. I did not submit mine and I still got in. Um, so try looking at that, especially if you have low test scores. Um, it is worth it. Um, but a lot of schools are more so looking at how well-rounded you are rather than just the number of a test score.
And then, so, some overall tips that I have for you guys is don't be afraid to go on dates or even talk to someone who goes to a different school than you, um, but don't peer pressure yourself into doing anything or feeling like you're being forced to go into a rela relationship because maybe your friends are in a relationship, like you have a friend that's in a relationship, don't feel that pressure, um, go at your own pace. Like you guys know about my boyfriend and I, um, I start, we both started dating at the end of my senior year, um, and honestly it's been the best thing because it never felt forced, it doesn't feel forced at all, um, and it just kind of all happened naturally and we didn't have to stress or worry um so don't try to focus on a relationship while you're in high school um because you know they can be very controlling um i don't feel like you're being attached to them um go have fun enjoy your high school experience and your high school life don't feel like you're being attached to someone um you won't always have the same group of friends in high school um, my group of friends really switched out from my freshman year into my sophomore year, um, and then I dropped a lot of them my junior year, and then I got new friends my senior year, um, and some of my friends from junior year continued into my senior year, um, and I dropped some friends at the beginning of my senior year, but you're not always going to have the same group of friends, and find a group of friends that you know make you happy and aren't going to be drama filled because drama filled friends are not fun like i keep saying um so just honestly work on finding a good group of friends but don't feel forced um as long as you're happy and just talk to everyone i mean that's what i did i talked to no joke i talked to the, the two girls that i was like these girls are never gonna talk to me you know i'm not gonna be friends with them now look, they're my friends, Brooke and Gabby. Love you guys. Um, they're my friends, and I'm so happy that they're my friends, and they've been so helpful throughout my senior year, and they've been so nice, and I've been nice to them, and we just all bonded really, really well. So don't feel like you're forced to a certain group of friends throughout your four years of high school. Um, and high school is not like high school musical at all everyone thinks oh my god like it's gonna be like all of these movies and like high school musical it's really not <laughs> sorry to break it to you now but it's just not i mean there's nothing really else to say it's just not <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and i really hope you enjoyed it i hope it gave you some helpful tips for going off into high school um so yeah um if you guys want me to do any more specific advice videos on any particular topic let me know or any other videos that you guys want me to do leave that down below in the comments and yeah i will talk to you guys in the next video bye